Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell behind me, I go on holiday in literally a week's time. I'm so, like this time next week, I'll be like boarding the plane. That was so exciting, I'm so excited. Anyway, a week countdown means I need to not look like this. My nails have not been done for like a month. I just haven't had time, okay? I've been like a headless chicken, okay? Everywhere and all the time. But today is the first step, which is getting my roots sorted. Believe it or not, <laughs> normally this is blonde my hair is so overgrown my hairdresser Zenon is literally gonna kill me when I walk in he knows my roots are long but I don't think he realizes how long they are so this might be like a murder investigation video instead because he's generally gonna kill me oh my god I'm so happy just to get this refreshed I feel like you just feel so much better so I'm actually heading to America in a week's time I'm going to New York I'm going to LA and then I'm going to Orlando and we're going to Miami and Tampa Bay and all the places like that and I am so excited it's gonna be like a road trip I have two big suitcases to take with me as well so luckily I have a bit of room to pack as well I have such a busy week this week that I really want to bring you guys along and this is going to be the first video and by the time you see this I will be in New York I'll be living my best life in Times Square and I cannot wait to take you guys with me and I promise this time I will I vlogged a few times before and said I'm gonna vlog holiday and never have I said I was gonna vlog Thailand last year and never did that was such a good holiday and I generally regret not vlogging it so much for so many reasons because obviously I want to show you guys. I showed my TikTok family it, but I didn't show you guys it. And that was just rude of me, I'm aware. Also, like, I like looking back on the videos. Like, I love looking back on my TikTok vlogs. So, like, having an actual vlog really makes me happy. I still watch the video of me surprising Tom about Thailand. So, yeah, it just, I just love doing it so much for, like, memory purposes. So, we're definitely going to be vlogging this time. I've made Tom aware. I was like, remind me. I have made my clothes order as well, but I just need to still try them on. I did try a few of them on yesterday however my camera ran out of battery and i've got a meeting in a minute camera ran out of battery and i just thought oh my god i'm just gonna do it like the day before i go ish i'm gonna tan on tuesday or like when monday night so it's tuesday take it off go on the wednesday i don't know i forgot my charger that's literally what i came in here for so i need to go to the gym before i get my hair done is that disgusting oh my god i keep forgetting everything are you going to fall maybe you guys i had such high hopes and like plans to go to the gym today i got ready before my meeting so i could literally go straight to the gym then to the hairdressers and i got a letter as i was having a meeting and it was from tax the hmrc is that what they're called saying that i'm late paying my tax return and i forgot to file my tax like how stupid am i i completely forgot to do it two months late bear in mind so i've got a fine so i've had to sort all of that out for the past like an hour and a half and then afterwards i could have gone john i could have gone gym but it would have only been for like 20 minutes so I just got changed. I got changed into a tracksuit. I'll be a bit more comfy. Um, so I'm going to head to the hairdressers now. So cut to me and Zenon. I'm going to show you. Oh, wow. Okay, we are a few days after getting my hair done. Going away for three weeks is all fun and games until you've got to plan and pack and do everything beforehand. Because... <laughs> It's not as fun as it sounds. Anyway, I am like fully blonde, guys. I need to give you like a proper overview. I'll probably be able to show you better tomorrow. Hair done. Nails are getting done on Monday. We're currently on Saturday. So I will start to feel like myself again on Monday. Honestly, I've just not had nails. I think I was talking about this before, but I've not had nails on for so long. These are not acceptable it is not okay oh my god i just can't wait to get my nails done so a little update i've been wrapping for the past like 30 minutes i don't wrap very often normally i like chuck things in bags call it a night you know i'm not a <laughs> wrapper however i wrapped tom's presents because we are away for his birthday we're on holiday during it so we're having like a fake birthday tonight it just feels so good to be blonde again we had to take a bit of length off because my hair was dead dead as a bush however i do bleach it so i do understand that my hair does grow however my hair is so healthy at the moment like this shine is insane zenon can vouch for me my hairdresser that it is a lot more healthy than it once was like two years ago we have been on quite a journey like i wish i had a photo of what my hair was like because it weren't okay i've also had a friend show up overnight um i actually popped a pimple patch on it oh here's mum bringing tom's present there is a loose voucher in there because that's from both of us excuse me what voucher oh yeah nice this one's co-op from i suppose co-op do a tiny version good 
morning everybody it's been two seconds for you however this is the next day for me i am getting ready to go last minute holiday shopping which i am so excited for it's all feeling very real it's all coming around very very quickly but i'm just so excited i think point of action today i know i want to go into primark because they've got some like disney and mickey mouse bits which i think will be so cute for like disney world oh my god i can't believe i'm going to disney world i've actually never been before so it's gonna be so exciting so don't take you along with me but on my phone <laughs> so the quality may dip oh my god wait i'm trying out the new um nyx fat oil i have the actual oil but this is it in a stick i'm so excited i'm expecting big things because i do love that actual oil so a colored version that is so <laughs> that's so pretty okay we have just gone home <laughs> i may not have filmed there but i'm gonna give you a quick haul okay of little stuff i got i actually picked up more than i originally thought i would um as i said there weren't heaps i kind of needed to get as i have already done my holiday shop so and these don't really have much to do with holiday however next had this huge sale on okay i was so impressed by this like absolutely insane i'm a sucker for homeware okay i have so many i literally have a storage unit full of homeware stuff and i don't yet own a house okay it's a slight issue that i need to tackle however <laughs> i picked up this black vase and it's got like this white dot detailing is this focusing there we go i just thought this is like the most beautiful thing ever literally eight pounds fifty in the sale i was like immediately yes and then i also grabbed this vase which is one so heavy can i just say but it's this like little body vase how nice is this oh my god and it's just got fake plants in it because i can't keep a plant alive for my life so this is a good suggestion when i do move out because this i can't kill this seven pounds this is normally 25 but this is so heavy like i was so surprised how heavy this is but i just think that's absolutely beautiful anyway they're just so irrelevant to holiday <laughs> also quickly just grab some sun cream for when we go to orlando i've been told sun cream out there's really expensive so we were just going to buy some like when we got to orlando however we're going to be a bit more prepared i think we still have some left from our holidays last year but we weren't 100 percent sure and then we went into primark which i didn't know i think primark's hit or miss you either find loads of stuff you like or not a lot and today was definitely a place where i had to stop myself getting as much as i wanted really really boring and basic i just picked up two tights i need some for new york and then some for la so that's boring we shall skip past these are so cute obviously Primark do so much with Disney. I mean, these are cute, right? <laughs> Even though they are, I've actually just clocked on that they're like a winter version. Like there's literally snowflakes and they've got Christmas hats on. Didn't notice that when I picked it up. <laughs> anyway, I also grabbed this set of pajamas just to kind of like lounge around in. They're actually like a silk material. I mean, what do you call this color? Like a beige? And then it came with just this top as well. They have so many cute sets today. And this has actually got a slight like rib and glitter feel to it. I just thought it'd be really, really comfy. And then, like I did say to you, I wanted to pick up some underwear and I was successful in doing so. So I just picked up these like basic white, black and grey ones. I'm actually not sure I'm a fan on this sort of waist. Like normally I like the, you know, like complete lace ones. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. I did get it a size bigger for that reason because I didn't want these to dig in. So I got these all in a large when I would normally go for a medium. I also just got these. Tell me these do not look like a lounge. Like, quite literally, they say, like, love to lounge on them. <laughs> Definitely a dupe. <laughs> but they're basically the same style, but just in red. And then I also picked these ones up, which are basically the same. They've got the same detailing. These are, like, a complete G-string, though, which I don't normally wear. I'm normally a thong girl and not a G-string girl. However, these are just, like, a green, a pink, and another green pair, which, out my comfort zone, but there we have it um i need to run to my storage unit i need to get a bikini and a swimsuit and i need to put these in there i love these so much like this is definitely my favorite i love this so much as soon as i saw it immediately yes you know like you're coming home with me guys i think i've had just the most stressful morning of my life mind the back need to pack it okay let me just grab my stuff because i need to blow dry my hair i also reorganized the whole of this drawer yesterday so now i don't want to mess it up um do i need that no got a good so this morning i did get my nails done guys i've just ended up going i don't know if i was discussing this with you but i wasn't sure what style to have my nails for i was gonna go for a color and then i thought gonna clash with a lot of outfits <laughs> it's very risky to do that so i've just gone for a french tip i think that's the most safest option for this sort of trip by the way these are the um ghd 
I think it's called a dual styler. Love this so much. I generally could not recommend it enough. It dries your hair so quickly. I don't actually mind washing my hair as much. My hair normally takes hours for me to dry. My hair isn't too long, but it also, let me move these. My hair is also really coarse and really thick. So it normally takes me so long to dry my hair. Right, this morning, honestly, feels like a fever dream. It is currently nearly half two in the afternoon and I don't know where the day's gone at all. But obviously I had my nail appointment this morning. However, yesterday obviously we went shopping as well. So I left my purse. This is such a long story that just doesn't need to get told. But I left my purse in Tom's car and I forgot it was in there this morning. And obviously I needed to withdraw money to get my nails done. So I realised that about 20 minutes before my nail appointment and thought, hmm, issue. Thank God. <laughs> My mum literally works around the corner, so I was messaging her being like, I need your card. Can I have your card? So I had to take money from my mum's account to get my nails done. And then I thought, oh, thank God, that's all, <laughs> that's all the chaos for this morning done. <laughs> Incorrect. On my way to the nail appointment, they've like closed the A11. Don't quote me on it. I'm not good with roads or anything like that. Ready? completely completely forgot where i was just at i've forgotten where's my hair bubble oh my god this literally describes my brain at the moment anyway i guess long story short is i've had a very <laughs> oh the traffic yeah i was going to my nail appointment and i had about 15 minutes to get there at this point it takes about 10 minutes and there were some road closures and then also road work so it took me about half an hour to get there so i was extremely late so then i also didn't want to bring you guys in and <laughs> and i make it more awkward so nails are done everything shower is done let me just quickly blow dry my hair and oh my god and we are done 15 minutes that's all that took it's crazy i like feel so stressed like honestly <laughs> there's so much to do guys it should created a like a ticking to-do list because otherwise i would not get everything done uh, i need to film a tiktok video and then i'm going to get some lunch because i haven't eaten anything yet today okay we're a few hours later i still need to clean my filming room i kind of did this the other day i kind of got started i kind of like i need to stop saying kind of oh god why do my under eyes <laughs> what oh god, i look like i've had no sleep why do they look like that <laughs> what the hell I promise you, look, they're not like that intense. Why do they look like that? I kind of did this the other day. I tackled this drawer here, which is my hair drawer. And it is now, I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot more neat. These ones, still need tackling. They're an after holiday task, I do assume. Because I also need to fix these ones, which are like my Ikea Alex drawers here. Will I do that today? Potentially, maybe. It depends how quick I get filming. I need to film something. I need to edit a brand deal. Um, I'm going to do my skincare whilst filming. I think that kind of tackles two issues with one. I also need to clean my desk and hoover the floor. Two things I have not done for so long. I also need to clean my makeup brushes. I also need <laughs> another like face jar these just don't fit because i find it so funny every time i go to film like i have to like fully get into character because if you don't know i read reddit stories on tiktok and it's so funny because my personal life is so far from i've talked about this a few times but it's so far from what i do on <laughs> reddit stories and it's just so funny because the sass and it is like acting because it's just so far from what's me that <laughs> I really need to get into character. So it's just so funny whenever I do this. Like sometimes if Tom's having a shower or like doing bits in the background, I'm just like, it's so funny because it's so different to what I'm like every day. Um, but yeah, I just find it so funny that beforehand I have to enter character. <laughs> it's like a different person. <laughs> Oh my god guys we are finally onto the packing section of this vlog i just edited the first half of this sorry let me set you down somewhere yeah i just edited the first half of this vlog and the footage was an hour long i got it down to 20 minutes however i have an issue talking clearly haven't learned because i'm talking to you i'm needing to right now i've just filmed a video so my filming is done for today i edited this morning as well i have one meter left today and like that is my work done for holiday 
I'm so excited guys. Also, I feel like I've never fully explained. Okay, so I'm gonna speak to you as I do this because there is stuff I need to do. By the way, we've tanned today, hence the outfit. I don't just casually walk around in Christmas pajamas, that's a lie. I do wear these most weeks when I tan. I feel like I also need to sort these clothes out, but I obviously I need to try them on. Um, let me think. I guess I could pack shoes and stuff as well now. That might help my sanity for tomorrow. Okay, so if you don't know, which you probably don't, you may be completely new here i am a tiktoker <laughs> i i still find that so funny to think of because like when someone says that you immediately think of them like doing the whip and the nae nae like it's the renegade i'm not that sort of tiktoker <laughs> so i do makeup videos on tiktok and i do reddit stories so like i read out other people's stories if that makes sense whilst doing my makeup why was i telling you this oh yeah about my job <laughs> So I do also work a nine to five as well. So I still have a full-time job because I just love it so much. It is mainly remote. I go into the London office literally like a few times a week. It's fully manageable to do both, which I'm so lucky to be able to do both still. Just, I don't know, I love everyone there so much. And I don't know, everyone's just so lovely. I just, so I'm also a content manager. So I work in social media and marketing as well. Anyway, that's what I mean by I've got like all my meetings done. So my work is basically done for the week. I've literally got a meeting with my manager after this and then I'm done. I'm fully on holiday mode. I really like these. Where's my packing list? I have right a packing list somewhere. I think you guys might be on it. Yeah, everything is coming together, basically. I said I'm gonna pack my white Nikes, but I might pack my um, like purpley gray Jordans instead. I have also said to pack these, but I just feel like these are only gonna be suitable for New York because they've got um, like this fluffy sort of texture here. I just feel like these are a bit more light and airy and might be a better option to take. I have never taken two suitcases anywhere. Like, I've always been a big suitcase girl. However, two, even I've been asked quite a lot. <laughs> Um, I picked up these cases off Amazon. I got me and Tom one just to chuck our electric toothbrush in because I just think because we're flying so much, we won't have time for like our toothbrush to dry out before we get on like another airplane. And I just hate the thought of a soggy, a soggy toothbrush in a case. It literally makes me cringe so much. Well, guys, look at these as well. Tom got me these for my birthday. I need to get them the right way round. So we're going to watch Tampa Bay Rays. So he got me a baseball cap because he knows they're a part of my outfit. That's so sweet. Honestly, you could cry. <laughs> and then he also got me, um, this is Orlando Magic, I think. One of them's baseball and one of them's basketball. I think this one's baseball. Here they are. I picked these up from Amazon. Oh God, guys, no, also, we've got these little Disney jumpers for Disney World. So this is my one. I've got like a mini mask one, super oversized, obviously. It's me we're talking about. And then I forced Tom, okay? There was quite literal threats involved to get one and to match with me, kind of. So he got this Lion King one. And we're gonna wear them like at nighttime at Disney because it's gonna get a little bit chilly. Okay, so I'm also gonna take my white shoes. I think I'm gonna wear my Uggs to the airport. I bought this red tracksuit to wear to the airport. So I don't know if it's gonna clash a bit if I wear these. So I might wear, but my sliders are the same color. So I think I'd rather be comfortable in my Uggs. They look quite cute as well. Okay, my white boots as well. I'm not really a boot girl. Like I really don't, I'm more of like a trainer person really. However, when I saw these on PLT, I just thought these were the most, I don't know, I just think they're so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna chuck my swimsuits in this bag here. So I've got, I actually went thinking, oh my God, no, I've picked the wrong one up. Basically, I needed one. Oh, I guess I could wear this one. I've got some boobs, okay? When I go to like a water park, we're going to Volcano Bay. I, I don't want to, I really don't want to tell you guys the itinerary too much because I still want you to enjoy the vlogs after this. But we do have a water park and I needed my, I have like a black zip up swimsuit that I can wear without worrying my boobs are going to fall out and flash everyone. And I picked this up thinking this was it because it also has white detail in. But it's not. And um, this is from Sheen, by the way. All of my bikinis, I think, except for two pieces are from Sheen. However, I think I can also wear this if this will still fit over my boobs. I'm actually unaware if it will. But this is actually from Pretty Little Thing and it's just a bikini top. Um, life hack, absolute life hack is to grab one of these. And this bikini is from Sheen. This is actually a, it's actually like a bandeau type bikini top. However, it does tie at the back, which I think is a lifesaver if you want to wear these sort of tops. And you've got big boobs. 
Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about these bottoms. So they just come with a fung bottom. However, at the back, they have this like gold detailing. Also just packed these bikini bottoms as well. These are also from Sheen and they're just like a thong style with like two rings here. I always go over the top when I pack bikinis. Like when I was looking through them, I was like, oh yeah, let's take this one and this one. And I just can't control myself. Like <laughs> I had such an obsession with buying bikinis a few years ago that... I have a box full in my storage unit. So this is a halter neck bikini top. It's literally just a brown color. I actually think this is from Pretty Little Thing to be honest, but I think I ripped the label out because it was in a weird position. Yeah, this is literally just a triangle halter neck bikini. And honestly, this holds my boobs so ridiculously well. To be fair, I could probably wear that to the water park because it just holds them in so much. And then I'm just gonna pair it with the bikini bottoms from Sheen. These are a bit less of a thong maybe a bit more family friendly. Okay, as I was saying, my camera just died on me. <laughs> These are from Pretty Little Thing and it's basically just this oversized shirt and it's like this kind of quilted material. Originally is white, however, because of like sun cream and washing it and the sun and just green getting on it, it has turned to like this cream color. We ignore though. And it comes in a set with these shorts, which once again, they're just kind of like this waffle quilted material. So more so this afternoon, I wanted to pack my hair stuff. I don't think I mentioned this before, but I wanted to take my dual styler that I was drying my hair with. However, I know for a fact it won't work in America. So I will definitely pack my straighteners. And I'm always gonna pack my curl and iron. And I'm really tempted to pack my mermaid wave out. However, will I mermaid wave my hair? Realistically, no. So we won't pack it. I'm trying to be ruthless. Okay, hair accessories I've just picked out. I actually got gifted this really cute bag by Coco and Eve. It's like this meshy texture. That smells delightful. Can I just say so myself? So I don't normally take my own shampoo and conditioner. However, because these are still like fully sealed at the seam, I thought I might as well. So these are just Coco and Eve shampoo and conditioners. I've also got minis from Color Wow. So I just thought it would make sense. So this is their Raise the Roof. Um, wow, my camera is sleepy today. Um, a root lifting spray. And then I've also got their Dream Coat in a mini size. This is insane if you haven't tried this yet. Your hair like, it does so much wonder to your hair. I've got, I've actually got another two Color Wow products. Clearly I like them at the moment. So this is actually a speed dry spray. So this honestly, wow, what is that with my camera? There we go. This makes your hair dry so quickly. So I thought that would come in handy as I have to blow dry my hair. And then I've just got their setting spray, not their setting spray, their hair spray. I've got the Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. I love this stuff. And then I've also got a heat protector by GHD. We've got a nourishing balm by Hair by Sam Knight. And then we have a wax stick. This is what I used to slick my hair back with. And they can fit all snug in one little pot. That's so cute, right? I'm going to pop this in this suitcase because I won't really need that until Orlando, hopefully. Hopefully my hair doesn't get greasy that quick. Oh, it might do actually. But then I'll just slick it back. It's okay. And then I just popped a bunch of my accessories in this kit. So like I have my um, loose, what do you even call them? They're like a, you know, the thin elastics. I've just popped some normal hair bubbles in there. I've got a scrunchie and I've got a few bows for when I do my hair all cutesy. Alexa, pause. Okay, I've just spent the last hour. Oh my God, I look such a mess. I generally need to stop getting on camera like this. <laughs> Tan is washed off. Oh my God, I just feel giddy well, what i wanted to show you is what i've been doing for the past hour i mean obviously i washed my tan off as well <laughs> i've just been doing this ignore the fan there i knocked it over so i need to do a try on for you guys tomorrow which i promise i will do obviously because i need to pack the stuff and i've just been organized into like t-shirts tracksuits pajamas and then like dresses or bottoms welcome to the next and final day of this vlog guys Bella doesn't hate me anymore. She just sat over there. <laughs> However, let me show you exactly what I'm taking. I'm gonna try everything on as well so I can piece outfits together. Okay, so we have outfit number one on. I'm so glad I am trying stuff on. Let me take my hat off. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing this like fluffy hat. However, I feel a bit silly wearing that indoors. So I've just got this skater skirt from PLT. The tights are from Primark. This top is from PLT. I can't tell how see-through this is on the camera. In person, it's a little bit see-through. <laughs> but it's just like this bodysuit with like quite a nice square neck this jacket's from plt as well it's got like the most beautiful fluffy texture and then i'm just gonna pair some uggs with this as well what do we think i think this is so cute we literally get there so late at night so this would be nice for that day <laughs> okay i've decided i'm just gonna talk because we might as well I'll get through it quick these are from a tiktok shop oh these are from moon lover 
I absolutely adore these so much. They're just like beige cargoes. But they're obviously like button at the front. However, they're elastic at the back. So like they really cinch your waist in. And I really like the fit of them. And then this top is just from PLT. I tucked it at the back, left it a bit looser at the front. Guys, this is actually one of my favorite outfits. I was toying between a shorter skirt or like this. This is like a long maxi denim skirt. And I know the denims don't match. However, have you tried to match denims that aren't in the same set? It is quite literally impossible. So we're gonna go with this. I think this looks i think this looks a little bit more elegant than the other one so the skirt is from plt i think this is all from plt actually a uh, waistcoat from plt so is the shirt underneath okay we're still in new york at this point so i've just popped on some jeans i did already own these these are from pretty little thing and then i've just kept that same white shirt underneath and this is actually maternity um however this is quite big also when i let it sit naturally it scoops really low oh hello there we go it scoops like really low so what i've been doing is like pulling it up a bit and i just think it looks a bit more put together okay so we're into la now so it's slightly getting a bit warmer i have these cargoes they're from pretty little things surprise surprise um i have them in green they're in the wash at the moment but they are quite literally like my favorite pair of jeans to exist or like cargoes i feel like i need to put you guys a bit higher what can i rest you on okay that's a bit better um yeah they're literally my favorite pair of cargoes i think they're like parachute cargoes from plt these, I got them in like this space grey sort of colour. They're in the most annoying fabric. Ready? That's what it sounds like when I walk. <laughs> but they're so flattering and so comfy. And then this is also from PRT. It's just in their basic range. It's just this like black top. It does go quite long. However, I'm just going to like bunch it up a little bit. Okay, I love this outfit so much. This is like such like a me outfit so we might have to chuck a like a nice little jacket on with this i'm not 100 percent sure both things are from plt okay this outfit looks so much cooler in my head i don't think it looks bad and i think once like i have like the proper hair and makeup that i have envisioned with it it might look a bit more better it doesn't look horrendous to be fair i'm not sure how to tuck the t-shirt in like originally i had planned to kind of have it fully down here but like have it proper tucked up at the side but i think that drowns the skirt too much so i'm thinking maybe tuck it more like actually under my bra both things are from plt okay so this outfit is very similar to the others we've got them gray cargoes on again and i am just another basic i don't know why i showed you it like that um just another basic top from plt i would not wear this bra with it by the way <laughs> i just i can't be bothered to keep changing bras i can't okay but yeah it's just this simple basic tee i love this so much it's in a size eight okay once again would not wear this bra with this outfit because it's totally see-through how about this is like a full white piece this is so far from something i would normally wear however i love it so much everything actually no that's a lie everything isn't from plt top from plt this is like a turtleneck it's long sleeved as well so i can take the blazer on and off and then skirt from plt it's actually like a i need to be really careful it's like a tennis skirt type thing but it's got like a few slits at the side and then this is from sheen i've had this blazer for the longest time so i'm sure they still sell something like it but this is my last la outfit cargoes once again i'm trying to reuse stuff so i don't pack so much this is once again in plt's like basic range i normally don't wear these however i get this in such a small size that it holds my boobs up um little hack there for my big <laughs> boobed girls we can wear this stuff you just have to get it literally in like a size eight for my sort of boobs that is tiny um but once again just in the prt a basic range a little chew top once again i can chuck a jacket if needed i hope i won't okay so these are going to be a lot of like tops and pieces that aren't pieced together because a lot of like the bottoms i've shown you but this white corset i've actually always own this it's like that viral corset that went viral on um tiktok and i love it so much i still want to get every color if they still sell it um my hair looks such a mess oh my god we're so close we are so close um this play suit i was gonna get a play suit from sheen but i decided to just do my whole order from plt okay this outfit isn't going together they're from two separate days however i couldn't just wear one so both from plt surprise surprise um so once again just this oversized t-shirt i think i want to wear this to some of the theme parks just like chuck over some shorts and then i've also picked up some comfy white shorts okay this dress is actually from prt but i purchased it like a few months like maybe like a month ago because i love it so much and i just think i'll wear this here in the uk as well when it gets a bit hotter i love this neckline oh my god <laughs> look at my hair so once again these two aren't going together however i couldn't show up half naked 
So this is going to be really, really hard to show you, but this is just like a really simple one slit um, maxi skirt from PLT. And then this top, I don't know <laughs> if it's see-through, um, PLT, once again, just a basic range, normal t-shirt, nothing too fancy. So in terms of like clothes, that's all I'm going to be packing. Oh my God, my hair. Okay, guys, it is a little bit later now and I've been very busy packing. We're getting there, guys. We have two suitcases that are almost full. I've just got to do my skincare and then pop it in there. However, I am going to end this vlog here because I'm, so, I'm starting to get a little bit excited. Okay, I don't wanna to get too excited just yet because, oh my God, I need to fake tan my face today. There's still little bits I need to do. However, all like the mammoth tasks have gone and I feel like it's something that's just stressed me out so much the past few days. Let me show you my suitcases. So we have like my Orlando one. I need to chop my sliders in here as well. I also need to weigh these. <laughs> I have no idea how much they weigh at the moment. And then this is mainly like New York and LA. This is literally a lifesaver, by the way. This is what I've popped my makeup in. It's a Tatty Lashes box and... Oh my god, I can't bother to open it, but it fits all your makeup in it. It's quite deep, however, because it's hard shell, you don't need to worry about stuff breaking in there. I am just so, so excited. I really am excited. So, let me end this vlog here, and then the next time you guys see me will be, oh my god, once LA, it, <laughs> once I'm in New York, that will be the next time I vlog. I'm so excited. I need to put you on charge as well, so I've got charge for. Yeah, let's fingers crossed the flight goes okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get to the airport. Fingers crossed my luggage isn't overweight. <laughs> All of that. Just keep your fingers crossed for me, okay? And uh, thank you so, so much for watching if you've made it to here. And yeah, I will, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>